Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. Today we are going to learn about descriptive programming. Before we see the definition of it, let me show some sample scenarios where it is needed. These are all the scenarios where descriptive programming is needed. The first scenario is the project framework is created such that we should not use the object repository at all. And the second scenario is the objects in the applications are very dynamic in nature. It means the properties and values of that particular objects are keep on changing. Example transaction number. And third scenario, the size of the object repository is very huge. That is more than 1000 objects. If you have like that type of object repository and it directly affects the performance of our script. And the last scenario, we are in a position to start the automation before release. From these scenarios itself, you can guess what is the use of DP. Now we'll see the definition of it. What is DP? It is entering the object information directly into that test script is called a descriptive programming. That is, rather than adding all the objects to the object repository, we are going to enter all the object information or details in the test script. That is known as descriptive programming. We have two types of descriptive programming. The first one is description string and the second one is description object. Let's look into one by one with an example. I am going to enter the value and search for it. First we will do with the object repository and second I will tell you how to do without object repository. Just add the search button. We added search box Google search button. Drag and drop then enter the value which you want to search. Run it. With the help of OR we are doing this operation. The same example I am going to go without object repository. Delete it. You can delete the object repository. Now open a notepad to the application with the help of objects by try to identify the edit box. You have to start from top. First one is browser. This symbol used to copy all the properties and values. Paste it. Then page object. Paste it. Then web edit. Here you can see the properties and values of the browser object. Try to find what is the unique value here. The name is a unique value. Title. The title not going to change or name not going to change. The first step is just copy this. It's a browser class. Paste this. Dot page and for page what is the unique value I can give title as Google directly you can copy it if not what you have to do is you have to type title equal to the value this is the syntax for giving and these both needs to be given inside the double quote and the third one is as per the hierarchy it's a web edit class and so many properties and values available for the web edit class. What is the value you are going to choose is up to you. But make sure you are choosing a proper unique value. I am going to choose ACC name. Close it. In order to confirm whether it is working or not, just highlight and confirm. Run it. It should highlight. It is highlighting exactly the web edit box. It means without adding into the object repository, we have directly coded here. Now we will enter some value, set, run it. The value is entered. Same way do it for Google search. The both hierarchy is same. Only this web button going to change. Copy, paste it. 
what you can do is this hierarchy going to be same dot web button now we have to give the unique value name is the best one you can give name suppose in future this name value is changed at that time once again you have to spy and give a proper unique value the value is given now i am going to click on this run from step we already entered the value i am going to execute that particular step whether it will click or not we'll check it it clicked successfully hope you understood the importance of descriptive programming it is nothing but directly giving the properties values into the code we have completed the description string in next video we will continue the description objects that's the end of today's session in case of any clarification please post your queries thanks for watching have a great day